Hello everyone. So here's a quick update from the biodome. Uh, just to quickly explain what I've been up to. It's been a long time since I've posted an update, but lots has been happening here uh, at the biodome. So let's just have a quick overview of what's, what we've done. As you can see, we've mounted the solar panel onto the framing, which uh, is quite an ingenious little solution. It turns out to be at a very good angle for the sun to catch it throughout most of the day. We're at five in the evening here, so the sun's just setting. Uh, over here somewhere yeah so we've mounted the solar panel in that's quite a as I said ingenious solution um, and we'll go and take a look inside to see how it's all wired up so come with me as you can see we've got the apple trees here they've all come into they've started uh, their blossom for the year so hopefully we get lots of nice apples and as you can see inside the biodome we've done a good bit of uh, Good bit of work. We've got the raised beds installed, new and improved version. We've got a table and chairs in here so you can sit down and relax in the lovely weather. As you can see, we've got lots of different varieties planted up, ready to start taking off. If we come up here and have a look at the solar panel, just let me go around the other side so the sun's not in your eyes. So if we have a look at the solar panel, you can see here how we've mounted it, how we've mounted it in. Um, just going to focus there and you can see over here that the cable passes through the frame uh, runs along across all of the struts of the dome uh, and then over to this box here which is the solar charge controller this ensures that a consistent amount of power is always leaving from the solar panel uh, we'll be connecting that up soon and here is the controller for the pump which controls the flow rate from the pump and we'll be uh, probably upgrading that soon in the, in the future as well okay so just to have a quick look through the grow beds and see what's happening here over on this side under this rock we have the bell siphon there which is almost ready to go but it's the end of the day we have the inlet here which is going to be used in the future at the moment we're just using this thick cord, uh, thick pipe here to run the water up from the fish tank. So that can be that can be controlled by the switch that you saw a minute ago. I've got a few different plants getting ready to start off here. Uh, some melons up here where nothing's really happening there to be honest. Some cucumbers down here. A few guys looking good in there. I believe that's cucumbers as well. As you, as you can see we've got a little bit of a colour coding system. Uh, over here we have this, we have the Tasty King cucumbers and then in this tray again even more cucumbers so we're hoping to get tons and tons of those this year. Here we've got uh, some tomato plants that have been put into the system as they're coming along quite well. We've got a few different varieties, we've got a uh, Super Sweet 100, Chocolate Cherry, those look like they might be nice, you see that there. Kind of a brown tomato, I've not seen that before. We've got green zebras, those should come along quite well. And some tomato citrinas, just here. At the back we have some sweet aperitif, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then we have garden pearl. Um, so from these six or so plants, maybe I'm not sure how many of those, less than ten. Uh, yeah, we should get a healthy amount of tomatoes, a healthy amount of cucumbers once those come on. We've got some peppers here, and this is a, a bean, some kind of bean from India. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Uh, yeah, so we've got a variety of sweet peppers, uh, and we'll be adding chilies in here as well as time goes on. And hopefully we get some really nice hot and spicy chilies, because I'm sure the temperature in here is going to be conducive to that. More tomato plants that have all just broken the surface We're getting pretty good germination rates in here and then we have just to finish off some corn <coughs> beans and corn again and just a little secret from the Native American peoples always plant your corn with your beans because these guys need something to stand on they need support the corn provides support the corn needs a lot of nitrogen and the beans fix nitrogen from the air so these two guys love each other and that's called companion planting which I'd always recommend that you look into 
what plants work well together as companions. So we've got some like little beans here, peas, that's the one, uh, and lettuces, <coughs> uh, and some parsley and some leeks. Ah, and there's also a few hot chilies over here. So yeah, we look forward to seeing how this goes, and uh, I'll remember to keep everyone updated. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter, Facebook, uh, and LinkedIn. I'll leave some links in the description, and please check out our new website and let us know what you think. So, a massive thanks from me at the Biodome System, and uh, everyone have a great day. Bye.